granulosar cells to humans. They are quite rare, from 5 to 7 percent, the incidence rate of this granuloma cell. Unlike epithelial tumors, I can't show you large randomized trials. They don't exist. These kind of tumors, uh, they are developed from the follicles, granuloma cells of follicles. According to the International Histological Classification of 2014, these kind of tumors, granulosa cell tumors, they can be divided into two types. The tumors uh, of uh, adult granuloma cell tumor or juvenile granuloma cell tumor. In classification of 2013, they were considered as a borderline tumors. In 2014, granu adult granuloma cell tumor considered as a malignant tumors and juvenile granuloma cell tumor they are the borderline tumor between malignant and uh, benign. The main morphologi morphological criteria of this type of tumor, this is a diffuse tumors. Uh, there may be a Carl Exner bodies and a somatic mutation, FOXL2, uh, that turned out uh, it happens in 97% of tumors of the gran adult granuloma cell. According to this mutation, uh, this uh, the histological diagnosis of this kind of tumors is a difficult situation for the morphologist. Foxl2 mutation, if it's present, it allows to differentiate uh, the studied tumor as an adult granuloma cell tumor because uh, in 97% of two cases, FOXL mutation is present, unlike juvenile granuloma cell tumor. It's a transcription factor uh, that uh, participates in uh, the release of hormones. Estrogens, estrogen level is upgraded and aromatase level is upregulated. Unlike epithelial tumors, uh, this kind of granuloma cell tumor uh, usually early stages are diagnosed, stage one or two. Quite rarely we see the third or fourth stage, 90, 94% stage one. The first stage of tumor, 75% of cases are diagnosed, unlike the epithelial tumors uh, that are more frequent of the third and fourth stage, not more than uh, 30 percent, it's uh, earlier stage tumors. If we are talking about uh, the spread of these tumors, 80% of metastases are localized in the abdomen and in the minor pelvis. Quite rarely we see the changes in the lymph nodes. It's not higher than 5-6% metastases in lymph nodes if the optimal site reduction was met with the optimal grading. According to recommendations of NSCN and asthma, as to lymphadenectomy in case of stromal cells to humans, lymphadenectomy may be not performed if uh, there are no abnormal and hyperplasic lymph nodes. Recent publications as to the frequency of metastasis in the lymph nodes in the case of the stromal and cell tumors support the recommendations by NCCN and ESMA. The similar guidelines we have in Russia, it's recommended to use, uh, to perform lymphodissection only if uh, lymph nodes are suspicious for metastasis. 
As to localization of metastasis in the case of the relapses of this kind of tumors, mostly they are localized in minor pelvis and in the abdomen. According to different studies, uh, these tumors, uh, they uh, tend to disseminate peritoneally. And we've seen this. First relapse happened in the minor pelvis, uh, then in the liver, in the small bowels, in the lung, and in the bones. In the small pel uh, minor pelvis, 70% of uh, relapses, uh, metastasis, metastasis are localized. According to five years survival, uh, higher in granuloma cell tumor comparing to epithelial apparent cancer. The first stage is uh, two groups are similar. As to the third and fourth grade, five years survival rate and high in granuloma cell tumor. These are the data of different authors. It's shown this five year survival rate may be 95% in early stages. And 40% it's uh, the third and the fourth stage. What are the factors uh, that influence five year survival? Uh, the majority of authors think that it's uh, the stage of the disease. The stage of the disease is a main prognostic factor. Here, the Italian group MITO, 2013, Mangili, it's shown that the stage of the disease does influence the prognosis, but adjuvant, adjuvant chemotherapy, residual tumor, lymph lymphadenectomy, the size of the tumor doesn't influence the prognostic factor. As to the other authors, a part of the stage of the disease, some authors say, say that the residual tumor significantly influences the five year survival rate figures. As to the a rupture of the capsule during the operation, uh, the mm, data are different. A lymphadenectomy is considered, doesn't influence the prognosis. Adjuvant chemotherapy, as to this kind of tumor, there are different opinions. The final conclusion is not made as to the adjuvant chemotherapy in the granular, granular, granular cell tumor. It happened that the rapture of the capsule during operation does influence, according to our data, the prognosis. These tumors, uh, they relapse quite late comparing to epithelial cancer. The primary relapse may be in 20, 40 years after the primary treatment. Of course, relapses, they happened more frequently in the advanced cases. Uh, Disease-free survival may be very, very long. Uh, uh, this tumor, in case of the first relapse, uh, the disease-free survival may be 73 months. Uh, the second relapse uh, happened in less than 50 months, and uh, the third relapse happened in 40 months. The time of relapse is shortened. As to the adjuvant chemotherapy, we didn't find uh, their correlation between uh, adjuvant chemotherapy and relapses. Treatment of their, these kind of tumors. Usually, if it's uh, the first relapse, we usually operate these people with the radiation therapy. 
In case of the first relapse, uh, 20 persons, uh, 20 women, 59%, uh, they were operated together with adivan chemotherapy. Uh, four patients, uh, we combined operation with uh, radiation therapy, and uh, 10 patients only chemotherapy without operation. We didn't find uh, the influence of type of treatment on uh, their second relapse and uh, disease-free survival. Uh, we found out uh, that uh, the length of uh, disease-free survival uh, was a bit longer when the debulking surgical treatment was made. And CCN guidelines, uh, it's recommended in primary treatment, the operation uh, that preserved fertility in patients with a fertile age. If fertility sparing surgery is not discussed, a uh, staging operation is performed in case of the first stage and uh, low risk of relapses only following up without adjuvant therapy. In stage one and high risk, high methodic, mitotic uh, index, uh, ruptured or poorly differentiation stage one or intermediate risk, it's recommended only observe or chemotherapy based on platinum. As to asthma recommendations of a treatment of this type of tumors, they are typical to NCCN recommendations. In early stages, fertility sparing surgery may be considered in young women or uh, postmenopausal uh, women. Adjuvant therapy is only for advanced stage. The recommendation of the Russian Federation as to adjuvant treatment of malignant tumors. In case of A1, AB stages, following up is the tumor is not more than 10, 15 centimeters. In case of the first stage, if it's a high risk factors for relapse, adjuvant chemotherapy is recommended. Uh, high risk factors in case of the first stage, according to our recommendations, uh, are the following. Rapture of the tumor, stage 1C, low grade, uh, high grade tumors, adjuvant therapy, and the tumors larger than 10 or 15 centimeters. Adjuvant uh, uh, therapy of the first line for one uh, ICE. What shall we prescribe, bevacizumab or TC? Now randomize clinical trials. Uh, the second phase, the results are being expected in 2024. Uh, the regimen TC to BEP regimen. It's expected that TC regimen uh, may have low toxicity and the similar progress, uh, progression rate. Hormonal therapy, it's a hormonal dependent tumors. It's justifiable to use hormonal therapy because it's less toxic comparing to chemotherapy. Our patients, uh, they receive tamoxifen from three to 65 months after tamoxifen, uh, they had uh, their level of oncomarkers reduced, and only one patient, they had a uh, long-lasting stabilization of the process during 65 months. Two patients in three months of tamoxifen, they progressed, and uh, they were uh, given aromatase inhibitors for five and eight months. 
of course, are uh, the hormonal therapy. Uh, there are data that uh, say that hormonal uh, that the use of uh, hormonal therapy is restricted in this case of patients. We published our results in the journal Pharmatech. It's available in the internet.